Okay, let's step into the greenhouse, see what's going on. Um, mostly tomatoes on this side. Um, it's been a bit cold at night, so I've been um, covering them up with bubble wrap, which uh, keeps the cold off them. And also for some of the smaller ones, just uh, a lemonade bottle cut in half, and that protects them at night. So I'll take them off in the day. Uh, we've got some interesting varieties. We've got Montella, which I grow every year. It's a kind of red plum cherry bush variety. I like it because it just produces loads and loads of, of fruit. Um, great, great plant if you want lots of tomatoes. Uh, this is a, a new variety here, trying yellow mimi, I think it says. Should write out my labels better. And there's Shimmer. Uh, grew this last year. Um, it's got a, a nice green uh, tinge to it. Lots of green lines amongst the red. It's very, very pretty fruit actually. So a lot of tomatoes out there. Some yellow delights, some sun gold of course. You can't grow tomatoes without growing sun gold, can you? And those are there. And over this side, um, we've got some basil coming up in the corner. And there he is. Um, don't overwater um, and don't put too much compost over the top of them because um, sometimes they take a while to, to germinate otherwise and come through. And oh, lots of runner beans coming up a bit too quickly. Um, probably sowed them a little bit too early, so I might have to pot them into bigger pots before potting them on or planting them out, sorry. And go, a few more. Guinness record, I think, some of these are, which we're having a little competition, me, Steve and Emma, so you can grow the longest Guinness record runner. So a good start, but um, you know, there's a long way to go. Down here, I've just got a few um, radishes growing in a pot. French breakfast, um, they come up really quickly. Um, but I'm particularly pleased so far with the sweet corn. Uh, this is a Prelude F1 um, variety. I've not grown it before, uh, but I've sown it in a, a deep window box really. And they're coming up lovely. Just when I plant them out in end of May, June, gonna have to watch the birds don't get hold of them because they love to peck at them. So um, just a few things going on in the greenhouse.